already know my needs, if he already know what I want, well, I got to go back and ask him. I'm too proud to do that. I'm not going to keep asking him something over and over and over again. Some people have that mentality. Yeah. yeah. Milton, huh? Yeah. They're they, they too proud. I know a long time ago, I heard the temptation say, I ain't too proud to beg. Right. Huh? Right. When it comes to the Lord, right. I ain't too proud to beg. I'm going to keep knocking. I'm going to keep going to him. Because I know in my heart he's able to answer and deliver. Yes. Might not do it right now what I want him to, but I know he's able to do it. I'm going to have to be like Daniel and Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego and say, I, I, even if not, I'm not going to bow down, but I know he can do it. I know he will deliver. I'm not going to stop praying. Yep. Yep. Because he haven't answered my prayer yet. This scripture, Jesus is saying that man have a part in prayer, just like he have a part in prayer. Uh, because he taught them last week, remember, he taught them the model prayer yeah. on how you go to God the Father and make sure that we are honoring God when we go to him. Uh, because you go honor him, our Father, recognize he's in heaven. Yes. He, he's not down here where you can see him. No man has seen him. Right. You got to go to him honoring him. That's why Jesus is trying to teach them. He's trying to teach them so they'll realize what a true disciple is and what true worship is. And you won't be just doing what? Honoring him with your lips, but your heart is far from him. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of people do, right? Huh? Honor him with their lips. Some people pray and don't even believe what they're praying. That's right. We get up in church and pray all the way through the Bible. Yep. <laughs> huh? I mean, even though they began that in the book of Genesis, when they prayed, they prayed by Scripture back then. But now the, the prayers that we give the Scripture half the time, they don't pertain to what we want. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, and remember, he's teaching things on how not to do like the Pharisees was doing. Right. They was getting up praying to be heard by much and heard by much speaking and heard by their lavishing words. And Jesus was teaching true discipleship don't call for all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true discipleship means that you got to go in your closet and surrender and come clean before the Lord. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you can't be, come on now, you can't be shoshing and ju- joshing with the Lord. When mm-hmm. you go in there, he already know why you came. Amen. Amen. So when we're looking and, 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 and trying to make sure we get this lesson across, there, there's some things that we need to understand that Jesus had been praying. He, he prayed at his baptism. He prayed at his at temptation. He was praying alone in the garden. He went to the garden of Gethsemane and prayed. Jesus was a praying man. And we are huh, we are examples of him. If we are to follow him, we need also follow him in prayer. Amen. Amen. And I believe the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. Right, right. I mean, that's what it says. Right. That means that we need to consent without ceasing, <laughs> continually. Yeah. To me, that means non-stop. Right. And sure, you ought to write. You, you can't pray in your car. You, you have to pray in your car when you pray without ceasing. Yeah. Well, when you pray continuously, you, you got to pray when you're at home. You, you're praying without ceasing. Yeah. Well, wherever you are, you, you have to continue to pray yeah. because we're praying without ceasing. Right. Because we don't realize that at any time the enemy can come in and distract us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's why we pray without ceasing. Well, that's what's wrong. A lot of people are oh, I, well, I pray in my car, I pray. But that's not the same thing. Huh? The Lord knows your motive, and you have to have a personal. I can't stress that enough. You have to have a personal relationship with the Lord. Yes. Amen. There's no if and about it. When we look at prayer, I mean, that, that, that's fellowshipping with God. Well, why does God not always answer our prayers immediately? Huh? Well, why is it necessary to ask and seek and knock and, and keep on asking and seeking and knocking? What do we need to ask for when God already knows what we need? I mean, those are just some questions that's going across people's mind. Right, right. Huh? I, mean, I mean, they'll tell you that in a minute. Somebody told me that all I need to do is go to God one time and ask him and don't keep on bugging him about nothing. <laughs> Huh? He, he's God. He didn't forget. Matter of fact, he can't forget, can he? No. No, no, that's one of his characteristics. That, that's why we're so ignorant, because a lot of us don't know his characteristics, nor his character. So how can we have a personal relationship with him and expect for him to answer our prayers? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, that's just real talk. Yes. First thing that a person needs to do, even in the church, 
And I can't, I, I'm, I'm not the one to be the judge and the jury. Because even in his teaching, he said, judge not that she be not judged. I'm nobody's judge and jury. Amen. I don't know your motive for praying. I don't know why your prayers are being hindered. Sometimes they're being hindered because of unconfessed sins. Mm. Sometimes we you will run to the Lord dripping in sin. Even before we ask him to forgive us our sins, we start off with our list yeah. of things we want him to do. Have an acknowledge who he is. Right. Have to ask for forgiveness. But all we want him to do is go with grandma and grandpa and everybody to the hospital and go with them to the doctor and find them a job. And I, we go down there and ask him for all of that stuff. Even in church. Yeah. yeah. Do the same thing. And just as praying. And have no idea how sometimes the significance or the magnitude of that prayer before the Father. I mean, it's time for people to get, to get serious about this. When you look at prayer, it's just some, it's some things that we need to make sure. Prayer uh, teaches us to communicate and fellowship with God and to trust and seek God more and more. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, 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 I got that, did you? It teaches us to communicate and fellowship with God and to trust Him and seek after Him more and more. That's a personal relationship. Yeah. That, that's all that is. God's going to keep on giving if you keep on going to Him. And then we have to realize that prayer teaches us both patience and hope in God's promise. That, that, that's what it teaches us. First of all, it teaches us to have that hope. In God's promise. But, but, but you've got to have a personal relationship and know your daddy's character before you can just surrender all and quit being so independent. I don't need nobody to help me.